thanks for stopping by my channel. This is Sprinkles, my love bird, and he is going to be the first bird to test out my DIY bird bath. So I made this myself, and it's pretty neat. It has a shower, as you can see. I gotta adjust it a little bit. But I wanted to show you how I made it. Now, this can be made any size. It can make a it, you can make it a little bit smaller or bigger, depending on what size of bird, bird you have or how many birds you have and how many will go under there together. It can be like a bird party. So Sprinkles here was gonna be my first bird, come on, to go in the shower. I don't know if he'll do it right now, but I know he loves the bath and he likes to uh, go inside. So let's give it a try. He's thinking about it. There it goes. How cute is that? Oh. So cute. I'm afraid to talk, it might stop. I don't know about you, but I love watching birds take a bath. I think it's so, oh. <laughs> you got me so I think it's so cute and they're all like fluffy and like fat and, <laughs> and wet ah how are you gonna wet my hair did you have a good time all right so let's show everybody how to make this bath okay so their birds can have fun all right so uh, let's get started and watch the show okay the first thing you need is a, a bin a plastic container with a lid. You can get any size you want depending on what size bird you have and you can get bigger, you can get smaller. But I chose this one. I got it at the dollar store. I think it was two dollars. Yeah, dollar store, but it's two dollars. This is about 13 and a half inches um, long and 11 and a half inches deep and six and a half inches high. So I'm going to make my bird bath out of this container. Okay, you're going to need a pump. And this, you can find these in the fish, uh, at a fish store or a pet store, usually in the spring and the summer, where they sell pond, pond supplies, because it's not a regular, uh, you know, pump for your average aquarium. But uh, you can find this on Amazon as well. And this one is a 70 gallon per hour pump, so I'm sure that's going to pump out a lot of water for my bird bath. Okay, now the pump came with two adapters. One's a half inch and one's a quarter inch so it depends on what size hose you want and I am gonna pick the half inch because that's the size hose that I would like and then you need some hose and like I said before this is a half inch hose you can get this at your pet store your fish store this is a half inch and this is the size that I chose to make my bird bath okay now I have to figure out where I'm gonna put the pump you can put this wherever you want, but I've chose to put it in the back left corner. Now you have this cord, and since I wanna put the lid on afterwards, I have to cut out a piece of the plastic. All right, so I've drawn on the plastic where I want my cutout, and this is just a grease pencil. It's really good, it, it works on plastic and I can just rub it off. If you don't wanna see any marks, you can use a grease pencil or find something else that works for you. But as long as you know where you're going to make the cutout, and this is for the wire, I want it to go, you know, right down so that I can put the lid on, and the lid's going to hold this still. All right, so I use a Dremel tool, and this is a cutter. I am going to cut here, in here, and then use another attachment to make it um, more smooth at the bottom. All right, so I'm left with this little piece of flap here. And I'm gonna use my Dremel tool. I put on like a sander. So hopefully this will just sand it right off. There it comes. All right, so I switched to a smaller bit size here so I can get inside. That's much better. 
the battery's dying. Well, that's good enough. So I just wanted to make sure the cord will fit right in there, which it will. There we go. All right, so see how the lid fits? You just gotta cut up a deep enough hole so that you can um, close the lid or you can actually cut a part in the lid, but that's just extra work. All right, so now I'm gonna figure out where I put my holes for the hose to go in here. So I've chosen each corner. I'm gonna put one here and one over there. I mean, you can do it this way if you want, straight across or sideways. I figured this way is a little bit better for me. So I'm taking my uh, grease pencil again, and what I'm gonna do is just circle the hole, or circle where I want to, um, you know, put my hose. And one over there. All right, so I switched Dremels. This is the plug-in Dremel. The other one had a battery, so the battery ran out. And this one's a little bit more powerful. So what I'm gonna do is use a drill bit here, and I'm gonna drill in my circle that I drew, and just drill a hole, and just go round and round and round. Now I'm not gonna go right to the drawing where I drew, because that would be bigger than the hose. I want the hose to fit like really tight and snugly without it moving around. So I'll do a, you know a little bit at a time. So here goes. All right, so now I have a sanding tool that I'm just gonna, you know, sand the hole more open. I wanna do a little bit at a time because I wanna check the hose to make sure it fits and that it's not too loose because I want it tight so that the hose will stand up straight. All right, let me just see if it fits. No, not yet, so I can go a little bit bigger. All right, go. Try again. Almost. All right, let's see if it fits now. Yeah, nice and tight. All right, so what I gotta do now is figure out how to block one end because this end's gonna be attached to the, the pump, right? It's gonna be sitting up here and I gotta block this end, otherwise the water will just come right out the other end. So I found this yellow wire connector and I'm gonna invert it, put it upside down and stick it right in there. And then I'm gonna tie it with the tie. All right, so I'm just gonna use this zip tie. I'm using yellow since it's the same color as the wire connector. Not that it makes a difference, you can make use whatever color you want. And I'm just putting it pretty tight, tight as I can do it. And that way I got one end blocked off. Now you can be creative and use whatever you like to block off the end, as long as water ain't coming through there. All right, make sure you have the right adapter for your pump and the one that fits the hose. And mine's a half inch, because the hose is half inch. I just stick it right on there and the hose is gonna go on the end. All right, so now I gotta make holes into the hose. Now, because I'm gonna be standing up like that, I have to make the holes underneath, you know, so the water comes out of the top and probably down the sides as well because they come out the sides and the top. So I got my smallest um, drill bit, which is 1 16th. You can pick whichever one you choose, but make them smaller or bigger. Probably a little bit bigger is better, but not, not too big. And um, just to make it nice, but the problem is you gotta be really careful not to drill through the top, right? And so I gotta be very careful just to drill through here and not to go through the top. All right, now we need drainage because the water's gonna be landing on here. So this is all solid right now. So I have to drill some holes in here. This is an eighth of an inch uh, drill bit. You can probably use different sizes, maybe bigger ones. I'm, I just wanna try with this one. And I'm gonna basically put more holes in the middle where the actual water's gonna come out and it's kind of, um, you know, go, it indents a little bit, like, the, like a drain, like the water will slip down and go 
toward the middle. So I'm gonna put them randomly all over, but more in the middle and some down here on these sides because there's a groove here and this is lower. So if the water gets stuck here, it has to go in as well. So I'm gonna be drilling uh, quite a few holes. So here goes. All right, so I made all the holes and I can make more later, you know, once I get it running to see if I do need more holes, I can obviously make more holes. But uh, I noticed it's a little bit sharp. The little plastic's coming out, so you don't want it sharp to hurt your bird's feet. And I use a cloth, soft cloth. Just make sure it's smooth. You don't want it all sharp because your bird, you know, if he lands on it the first time and he gets poked in the foot, he'll never, never come back, right? He'll be scared thinking, oh, that hurts. I'm not gonna take a bath in there ever. So make it as comfortable as you can for your bird, nice and smooth. Yep, it feels good now. So hopefully this is enough holes and we'll see once I get it running, so I'm excited. All right, so now we're all ready to set it up. I'm excited to try it out. I got my half inch adapter here. Now this isn't gonna stick to the floor yet because I need to put water in. And I put the cord through that cutout that I made earlier. Now, I got all the holes. I can always add more if I need them. Now since we got this yellow piece here, this yellow wire connector, I am actually going to feed this end that has nothing on it through there up and around like so hopefully you can see that and stick the other one in the other end and I'll adjust it now okay so I put the water in I put enough to cover this a uh, pump because the water has to go through the cracks there in order to you know, run through, you want enough water, you want it deeper than the actual pump. So I am going to put it in. And hopefully this will stick to the bottom once it's wet. There we go. All right, so I have to stick the end of this hose onto the adapter there. There we go, just gonna make sure, ah, there it goes. Make sure it's a tight fit so it doesn't come off. Ah. Alrighty, and put the lid back on. Get the hoses inside. Shut everything. All right, so here goes. I'm gonna plug it in. Let's see what happens. Ah, very nice. Hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit wet here. Rio seems to like the new bath. <laughs> Go ahead. She's molting right now, so she's very itchy. So the, the bathing will help her. There we go. That's a pretty girl. Oh, look at that. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the bell icon there that way you won't miss any of my future uploads oh she went right underneath thanks for watching he's got my face all wet here we go what a pretty girl oh yes yeah.